Okay, let's let's try this. I think I've got the hang of it. It's not easy. It's pretty precise here. So if I mean, it, I, I can't even tell you how many times this took me. <laughs> Why do you hate me, game? That was the last jump. There we go. Up here, up here, up here, up here. Let's go over a bit. Up here. Jump. I'm on I'm on top of it. There we go. There we go. And we get an ether veiler, a second one. You know, we've already we've already got the one. But we get a second one, which is awesome. Let's go back outside so we can hear some more music. Or at least the waterfall. Okay, so there is one place I didn't go. Oh, slime in the drain. There should be several places like this. Okay. That's it. We'll use the bell there to lure it out. Okay. So, I know where we're supposed to go, but first, I get hit by a propeller. We need to go over here. No? Did I, already, I did already get that one. I'm thinking of a different one. It wouldn't let me jump because of the battle, damn you! More bat rats! What we want to do is go this way, back basically where Gramps was, and down here. If we get the last treasure here, a Zetasol DX, that might prove very handy, actually. And yes, this is this is the way I want to go. Yes, but I didn't want to get hit by that steward. Am I on the right side? I don't think I am. Hold on. No, this way. This is where I wanted to go. You want to go pretty much north of where Gramps is, and then follow the trail up here. And then you'll find the pipe with, with the slime. And then you just press X, and Rico has to glitch over here. Here! Yes, that's what I said, here. This is the only drain with slime and no murder site nearby. So we ring the bell. Many, many, many times we ring that bell. So it's headed our way. It can go through the propellers, no problem. What the hell? Cheater. And it can go over the bridges and uh, through the propellers again. It's here! Dun, dun, dun. And now it's boss time. And we're up against Red Rum. And he uses confusion with gel. And that'll give us the first chance to use a mental. Use mental effects, such as confusion. Awesome. Oof. And of course he does a shit ton of damage and I will need to heal immediately after that. Inner healing on Rico. This is not going to be an easy fight, is it? Okay, so let's, um... Let's go ahead and use Shinrei, I guess, for now. That's, I, you know, I'm going to try to do my death blows as much as I can. Do as much damage to him as I can. As quickly as I can. And then Rico, um... You know, he doesn't have very many death blows, but he's got death drive. And that's going to have to do 239. 103. Okay. So what I also need to do is do some Iron Valor, both on Faye and on Rico, and then probably on Satan as well, get as much damage, just like I said. Attack up. Now, what I do need to do is I need to use a Renki on Satan. That way, when push comes to shove, I can heal up everybody all at once. Right? And he goes so fast. But Shinrei is still his ultimate death blow that I have. 
So that's what I'm going to stick with for now. It does quite a bit of damage. And then of course, Death Drive. Yeah, unfortunately it's the strongest thing I have for him right now. I don't think he's even started the other ones. Fire on all. See, that's no good. Um, I'm going to need to use an Iron Valor. I can only use it on Faye? That's stupid. And then I'm going to use uh, the best death blows I have, pretty much. For everybody. And this is just going to be a grind, I think. 260. Oh, wait! Um. Oh, wow, that was a lot of damage. Rico does have attack up and defense up, doesn't he? Okay, now we need to use a Sazanami. And there we go, it affects everybody for 138. That's the spirit. Speaking of spirit, let's go ahead and use this crap on our uh, on Rico. Attack up. Ugh, so much damage. So much damage. But luckily, I can keep timboing him, and it does uh, it does a decent amount of damage. All right, let's prepare another Ranky just in case. Steal all HP. Yeah. Yeah, he does that. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna use the Zeta Saw on him. Yeah, he's got a couple instant death spells already. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy boss fight. He's back up with 73 health. I would have liked a lot more, but what are you going to do? Yeah, he can only use these on himself, so he's going to use that on himself as well. Defense up. Okay, uh... No, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the death blow for him, and then I'll have Faye heal himself. I don't want to waste a, a Sazanami. Now I can use an inner healing instead. Oh, he just barely survived that. Come on, heal yourself for a good amount here. 120, that'll do. That'll do for now. I mean, this is pretty much all you can do against him, but it 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 does the job eventually. You know, eventually we'll we'll grind him out. You know. Plus, we're building up a, a combo rate a little bit here. 102 damage. Good lord. Three hundred and twenty-two. You know, it's it's getting there. One thing I can do is a suicide or whatever that, however you pronounce that. It does block uh, the block the fire attacks here, and he did have that fire. Okay, so then let's use another Renki. Once again, Satan might be the best player in the game. Ah, uh, dick. Okay, another Zeta Saw. Yeah, if you don't have a few of those, uh, go back and get them before you before you take this guy on because he will kill you. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He will destroy you. Now it's time for a Sazanami. There we go. 108. I believe that when you die, the Iron Valor and all that kind of stuff doesn't carry over. So let's go ahead and put that back on everybody, get their status effects back up. Did I ever use a Ranky? I don't think I did, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. If I did, then I apologize for wasting a turn. Okay, Steel Fist. <laughs> 